Happy Saturday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. I am back with five companies that they will hire you. They have reached out to me and they say, if your resume is right and have the keywords and you, they will hire you, they will consider you. So make sure you have your resume right. Also, let me know in the comment section, which job that you can apply for one all the way to five. So let's go ahead and dive right into the first job. Now, the first job that we're talking about is two rows. They're currently seeking accounting coordinators to work from home. When I scroll down, the first thing I'm looking for is how much I'm going to get paid. And the salary is not listed. So when the salary is not listed, um, I take upon myself to research things when I'm uncertain. And I come up with $46,919 a year. It could be more depending on your experience. But this is kind of giving you an estimation on the ballpoint. But you don't really know what the salary is going to be until you actually go into the interview. It can say this and you can end up asking for sixty or $70,000 a year and people do that. So this is around $22 an hour according to Glassdoor. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper about this position here, you're going to oversee the client's relationship by being their main point of contact. You're going to also oversee the service the client receives, making sure that they're meeting their expectation. You're going to be dealing with payroll, pay bills that have been posted by the bookkeeper, as well as you're going to do year-end tasks such as financial review, 1099 process, closing the book, and your reports, communication with taxpayers. Also, review of P&L statements and balance sheets. And then when you go down a little bit further, they are looking for someone to have passions about financials four plus years of bookkeeping or accounting experience again don't let that that scare you just step out on fate and apply anyway you just never know what can happen they're looking for someone that has fast learner and open to new ideals and understanding of business models they want to be able to work mondays through friday 9 a.m to 5 p.m eastern standard time via email and phone and then this is a bonus. If you have this, I'm not going to go over it because it's, if you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. They want you to have a minimum of two years of degree, AAAS, experience level, four plus years of bookkeeping or accounting experience. And you must be in Eastern or Central time zone to do this job. And when you go down here a little bit further, it talks about the overview of the interview process. You have to fill out an online application. The application can take about one plus an hour to complete and you can't save as you go. So you have to plan on completing this in one setting. You need your resume to be handy in electronic format. You will be asked to record a video of yourself. They will review your application and when they see that you're a potential great fit, they will follow up with initial video interview. Okay. So that is, and then also they want you to be discovered your values, goals, and visions along with theirs. And their second interview will take place with their potential team lead and a team me me member where you will have an opportunity to discover if you'll be the right fit. And then at the point, they will check your reference and all that checks. And then their final video interview will take place with the upper management of two rows to answer any final questions or either party may have the issues it uh, ensure a win-win and then they will perform a background check draft the offer letter finalize details and a start date and get started so if that's something you want to do all you need to do is click right here where it says apply this is job number one now we're down to job number two it is with the company drc okay they are still hiring right now test scores remote full-time days mondays through friday i've talked about this job before but when the company reached out to me and say hey i'm still hiring i want to let my youtube family know hey you need to go ahead and apply for this job they still have openings they are hiring people they have hired people from the last time i talked about this in my video but they're still want to bring people first to my youtube family and hire you and then you know before they post it in um, different uh, social media platforms so they're hiring for test scores to work from home when you scroll down we're looking for the salary the salary is 18 dollars an hour is temporary but don't let temporary scare you it's a lot of jobs that start off as temp and they end up hiring you on a full-time basis it's fully remote and when we dive in a little bit deeper um, about a test scores you will score standardized test courses that need human intellect and reasons to access the work it's project-based and has specific technology requirements. It also requires that you have the ability to stay focused on producing accurate scoring while working in front of your home computer for hours at a time. Now, they're looking for test scores. Again, this is full-time. They want you to be able to work Mondays through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. during their busy scoring season is between March and, and June. 
And all test scores must have a minimal of four year degree and be able to provide documents to verify the degree. They will also ask you to complete math and writing assessment. And all test scores is monitored by a supervisor based in Eastern and Central time zone. To work remotely, you need to live in one of the 28 states um, which were operated within either Eastern and Central Standard Time. Again, this is full time work schedules, 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mondays through Friday. They will ask you to commit to the schedule for the length of each scoring project you work. Please note that due to limit of evening projects, we're no longer recruiting for night shift test scores. Okay, so again, you have to have a four-year degree, live in the Eastern or Central Standard Time Zone in a state where they operate, can stay focused and work in front of a computer for hours at a time, have acquired private workspace and laptop desktop with all of this here. And if this is something that you're interested in, all you need to do is click right here and hit this um, come score with us right here. This is opportunity number two. Now we're down to opportunity number three. It is with the company Everyday Health. They're currently seeking part-time customer care specialists to work from home. And when I scroll down, the salary is between $18 and $22 an hour. Now, basically what you're going to do is you're going to interact with customers via email ticket system. So this is a non-phone work from home job dealing with Zine Desk. You're going to work closely with other customer care team members to resolve customer issues and questions. You're going to handle customer support requests related to all aspects of the Lose It app, including but not limited to the app features. And after 30 hours training period, you're expected to send at least 10 email mails per hour and then four hour shifts with flexible schedule post training okay so basically what they're looking for is someone that's tech savvy excellent written english available work at least three four hour shift per week including two weekends days saturdays or sunday per month available for a weekly team meeting typically held virtual on tuesday mornings in eastern standard time and able to complete 30 hours of training in the first 10 days of employment if that sounds like something that you're able to do then all you need to do is click right here where it says apply now when i say explore within the company you can always explore because they have a whole bunch of other um, remote jobs that may be a good fit as well all you need to do is click right here where it says back to current opening but if this is something you want to do, then hit here where it says apply. This is job number three. Job number four is with Shear. They're currently seeking QA specialist verification support to work from home. This is a full-time position. And when I scroll down, I am looking to see if the salary is listed. The salary is not listed. So I do my research. I came up with $71,279 a year. That is $34 an hour. Again, negotiate your salary. Know your worth at all, at all times. Now, when we dive in, you're going to help build a world-class quality assurance program designed to ensure the Shear ID customer experience is consistent and meeting their high standards across all support channels. You're going to attend quality co collaboration meetings to confirm quality is being judged in a correct and consistent manner at your ID vendor partners, as well as you're going to co-create, update, and help maintain training and reference material. Now, with this job, it requires a bachelor's degree in related field and two plus years of customer support experience in a QA leader training role. They're looking for someone that has the ability to handle multiple tasks and projects effectively and concurrently, and a strong oral, oral and interpersonal and written communication skills, detail or process orientation with high regard for quality control, experience working with support, CRM, such as Zing Desk, evenings and weekends and holiday availability is necessary. If this is something you want to do, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply for this job. This is job number four. Now we're down to job number five. It is with the company, the Prince, the Princeton Review Tutor. Tutor com. They're seeking administrative data associates to work from home. And even though it's posted March the 7th, 2024, you know, I always reach out to hire a manager. It's still current. It is a part-time job. And when I scroll down, I am looking to see if I can find the salary for this position here. I'm going to go all the way up and see if I can find the salary for this position here. Okay. Um, let me see here. I'm just checking here and see with the salary. I came up with $25 an hour for this position. Here it is right here, $25 an hour, estimating 15 to 20 hours per week. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper about what you're going to do is you're going to oversee ad adherence to standard categorization of all records in Salesforce. You're going to also complete ongoing audits for contact records in Salesforce, deleting outdated records, inserting new records, and 
deduplicate or their Salesforce database. And then you're going to also input special contracting provision as provided by their legal time, I'm sorry, legal team onto appropriate account records in Salesforce. And then they're looking for someone that has uh, are available during regular business hours, works a set hours or set schedules, experience using Salesforce, a similar CRM is a plus. Remember, if you don't understand that, always use Google as your friend. Um, they want you to know Excel for data entry, go to Microsoft 365 training where you can learn that for free. Willing to put in extra time during their busy season, June and July with the understanding that flexibility will occur. And then they're looking for someone to eager to learn through video lessons, knowledge-based internet searches, document standard, operating procedures, and hands-on um, practice. If this sounds like something that you're able to do, then go ahead and apply. This position is expected to be filled in 30 days. Um, if this is something you want to do, then go ahead and apply right now. This is job number five. In this video today, I gave you five work from home jobs that these companies that will train you. So go out there and get your resume right. Step out on fate. You never know what can ha happen. Also, I just want to get out there and just read a prayer to you because a lot of people going through this before I give you a encouragement words. Um, these are the prayers that I have written um, maybe a year ago. And the first prayer is like, say, for example, if you're currently on a job, and you're going through a lot of things, this is something that you need to pray your, pray your way out of it. But if you're currently on a job and you're seeking a remote job, then this is the prayer that you need to pray. If this is something you want to do, send me an email. My email is in the YouTube description bar. I have sent this prayers to a lot of people. You could print it out and, and let it meditate on you and read into you because a lot of people are going through this. But I want to read this prayer here um, that you can go and look at it. You know, again, if this is something you want to do, then make sure you go ahead and send me an email. And I don't mind uh, sending this to you. So basically what it says is, Dear Heavenly Father, as I come before you in the moment of prayer, I want to express my deepest gratitude for your unwavering love and guidance in my life. You know the desire of my heart. And today I bring before you my longing to find a remote job. I humbly ask for your divine guidance and intervention in this quest. You know that you know the unique circumstance and challenge that have led me to seek a remote opportunity. I trust in your plan for my life and believe that you have a purpose for me in every step I take. Grant me the wisdom to search for opportunity diligently, the patience to wait for the right door to open, and the discernment to recognize the path that aligns with your will. May I be equipped with the skills and qualification needed to stand out in the application process. As I navigate this journey, I ask for your peace to fill my heart, knowing that you are in control, strengthen my faith in times of uncertainty, and help me to remember that you are a God who provides, who opens doors, and who leads us to places we never imagined. Help me to remain persistent and determined, yet open to your redirection. If it is not the path you have attended for me, may I always trust that your timing is perfect, even when it doesn't align with my own. In this pursuit, I also pray for the courage to step out of my comfort zone and embrace new opportunities that may come my way. May I be open to learning, growing, and adapting to new challenges. I commit my desires, fears, and hopes into your loving hands. May you guide me to the remote job that not only meets my needs, but also allows me to use my talents for your glory. Thank you for your love, your provision, and your grace. In your name, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So this is a prayer that I want to share with you. Again, if this is something you want to do or need, make sure you reach out to me and I don't mind sending you this prayer because a lot of people are going through things and prayer changes things. I don't care what situation you're going through, big or small. When you pray, something is bound to happen. And that's what I want you to stay, step out on faith. Now, if this video has been helpful thus far, what I want you to do is hit that like button, as well as I want you to comment. I'm a type of YouTuber that I will respond to all of your comments because you're more to me than just a number. You're my YouTube family. And I want to build that friendship relationship with you. And in order for me to do that, I have to respond back. And I've been responding back to all comments I see. Also subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search in everyday life. And if you want to be a part of that ride, subscribe to the channel, share these videos on your social media platform so more and more people can see what I have to offer each and every single day. I want you to take those prayers that I just read to you and I want you to print them out, 
and have it hanging on your wall or put it in a frame. And I want you to meditate on that. You know, if you're currently in a situation that you're on a job where you cannot stand to be on that job and you have to listen to gospel music or some kind of music to get you pumped up to get in there, I know what it's like. I've been there, okay? When I was working at a job and the supervisor didn't like me, he made it hard for me. I was a surgery scheduler. Before I could get out of the car, he's cussing at me. He's saying I didn't do nothing right. And on top of that, I was pregnant with my first child. And he was putting all that stress on me. And I used to hate going to work. I used to literally sit in my car and cry all the time because I knew what it was going to be. It was going to be stress in that job. I don't know if a lot of y'all have experienced that, but I literally sit in the car and cry and say, Lord, I'm tired. I don't want to go to this job anymore. And they say, be careful what you ask for. I ended up saying, God, and I was pregnant with my first son. And I said, God, deliver me from this stormy pit. He delivered me from this stormy pit because he caused me to go into labor early. I had my first child. I was around, I say, probably about 29 or 30 weeks. And that's considered a premature baby. And the blessing of my child, you know, like he meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. My child is fine. He don't have any issues. He's an all A student. He's doing really great in school. And I'm a very proud mom, you know, that everything that I went through carrying him and um, experienced him cussing me out and talking crazy to me when I was pregnant, I forgave him even though he didn't ask for forgiveness. And um, when I was out on the operating table having C-section, my doctor said that he said that he was praying for me. And I said, no, he's not praying for me. He was speaking death over me, but God spoke life over me. So I know what it's like. So you need to meditate on that prayer day and night, you know, especially when you're trying to leave a situation where you have a boss that's giving you a hard time. Seems like when you're trying to get a house or get a car and they know you get in a house and a car, they try to make it hard on you or you, your, your co-workers are making it hard on you, you need to meditate on that prayer. And if you're trying to find a remote job, get that prayer and have it with you every single day and meditate it on it day and night so it can be in your mind and your heart. Um, that's what you need to have. And I want you to keep pushing and keep applying. Never, ever give up. And don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. You have to let the company do it. You have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. Nobody else is going to say, you got this. Nobody else is going to say, go apply for that job. You got to understand that in life, people will say things to you, especially if they know that you're easy to get upset. Are you easy to quit? Oh, they're not going to hire you. Okay, that person is right. You cannot believe what people say. The only person you need to believe is what God say. When God said it's done, it's done, you know? So if a job is meant for you, I don't care if it requires a bachelor's degree. I don't don't care if it requires a master's degree. I don't care if it requires two years. If God has that job for you, it is for you. And it's nothing that nobody can do about it. A lot of times people try to take your blessing away from you. And I believe God do three things. He will remove you, he will mute you, and he will block you. And I don't want God to remove me in any kind of way. And like I say, everything that I do, I want to lean to God's understanding. Everything that I do, it doesn't matter what it is, I want to lean to God's understanding. I want everything that I do comes from God, not from my own understanding. And that's what a lot of people do. Instead of waiting on God, they want to get and take matters in their own hand. I get it. People have wronged you. I've been done wrong. I've been done wrong where people wouldn't even support me, you know, support whatever I did. They wouldn't even support what I did. I mean, I could be selling clothes. They'll go buy clothes from other people and wouldn't support me. But it's okay. But you got to understand that God will use a stranger to come in and take you to the next level. And that's what you have to understand in life. You know, you don't need support from family and friends. True friends, true tribes are going to come and they're going to support you. If you're selling a bologna sandwich, they're going to support you and say, yeah, I want two or three or four or five sandwiches. That's the type of tribes you need is people that's going to support you and uplift you that way. Okay, you got to understand what God has for you is for you. 
You got to stop being a procrastinator and be a doer. Stop talking about it and be about it. Stop being on the sideline and get in the game and apply for these jobs today. There's tons of remote jobs out there that are hiring right now. Again, I reach out to all of these companies before I sit up here and make a video. Majority of these jobs, I've tried them myself. I'm not going to give you some jobs that I wouldn't try for myself, but I ask you to do your research for a peace of mind. Use the tools that I'm giving you. Take those tools, lay your own foundation, and build your own empire today. You you got this, okay? Believe in yourself. I'm encouraging you every single day. I'm encouraging you that you got this, okay? I know it's hard, but God is harder. You're stronger. You are smart. You can do it. Giving up is not the option. No doesn't mean no. It means next opportunity. You know, um, life is full of ups and downs. It's like a roller coaster. One minute you up and next minute you down. So buckle in, enjoy the roller coaster going back and forth because at the end, it's going to be smooth. You got to understand, you got to go through the storms of the life in order to get to the next level. You know, when you go through the storms of life, I can speak for me, it builds my character. You know, it builds my character. It makes me to trust in God that he is going to provide and he's going to make a way out out of no way. You know, I can speak it. I'm not just reading a book. This is something that I experienced in my life, y'all, where I went through things where people um, scandalized my name. People lied on me. People wouldn't support me. People don't like you for no reason. You don't have to do anything to people and they just don't like you at all. I've been around people that all they did was stir up confusion, never was peaceful. And I and, and and I love to be around peaceful people, like-minded people that have the same goals, same dreams, similar to yours. And that's what I'm trying to build a community. And again, if you want to be a part of that community, you have to subscribe to the channel. But I believe in you. I believe in you. But you got to believe in yourself. Many blessings to each and every one of you. And I pray that whatever you desire in your heart, it shall be given in the name of Jesus. Remember, stop being around these stairs. Stay around people that's going to uplift you and encourage you and going to speak life in you and breathe life in you. Okay, stay away from naysayers, because if you keep listening to naysayers, you end up nowhere. Remember, it's just like going to a place that you've never been before and you can't use a map, let alone a GPS. You end up nowhere. Stay away from naysayers. Shake the haters off and keep moving. Okay, God has you. He has a blessing with you blessing for you. I'm praying for you and I'm praying with you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.